Hey guys, Dylan here from Drone Tech. Um, today I wanted to talk to you about the UP7 um, dual charger that you would have seen um, me posting about during the week. Um, I'm going to show you today how to use it, how to set it up for charging, how to set it up for discharging using the discharge um, station. So we're going to set up the 8000 milliamp hour battery for your Gannon 2s and your 6400 6 cells for your Gannon Maxes. Alright, so let's get straight into it. Alright, so let's have a look at the charger. So, as you can notice, the charger is a very, very, very small, compact little unit. So impressive. So, one of the things you would notice, the XT60 plugs are actually built into the charger. And then you've got your charging, um, balanced charging cables. So, channel 1 is on the left hand side. Channel 2 is on the right hand side. Flip it over, we've got the big fan that keeps everything nice and cool. Um, your external discharge um, unit plugs into the side. You've got a battery temperature sensor that we don't use. There's another temperature sensor and then your PC link for updates and another fan. On the back we've got the AC input and then we've got the 9 to 32 volt DC plug so we can run this charge on 12 volts as well to get the optimum uh, charging and discharging um, it's always better to use the AC plug alright so it's got a two and a half inch screen which is nice and colorful and your two scroll keys which you can scroll up scroll down push on it and that enters and that's how you navigate through the menu so before we get into the charger, here is the Ultra Power UPD 200 discharge station. Nice and compact little box compared to the charger. I can't see that. Nice and compact. It's got a heat, sh heat sink on the back and a fan, and then your connecting cable, which then plugs in to that plug we spoke about early on and there we go so essentially what this unit does it's like flying your drone without flying your drone all right so very very impressive little unit so I'm going to show you how to charge and discharge your 8000 milliamp hour battery and your 6400 LiPo max battery. So we'll do the Gana 2 2 Plus battery, which is the 8000, and the 6400 6 cell battery. So let's set it up. So I usually like to set the battery up, plug the battery in before I put the mains on. Plug that in there. We're looking for the 4S. Clip that in there. I'm going to lay that down. Alright. So, this is the 8000 milliamp hour battery. And it's all plugged in. And we'll turn it on. There we go. So currently on the charger, you can see it's LiPo, 4S, external discharge, your voltage, your amps, your volts per cell, um, the time, 
the temperature, the power. All right. So what we're going to do is to navigate or to bring up the menu. All we've got to do is push on the scroll wheel on channel one because we're in the channel one, and you've got your menu. Your battery cells, mode, current, um, voltage per cell, start and back. Alright. So, let's set it up. So we're running the high voltage LIHV 8000. So we're going to change that to LIHV. And simply by scrolling the key, um, the scroller, you can change to your battery mode. Push on it and it selects the mode. We're running a 4S. We're not going to discharge it just yet. We're going to charge it. And we're going to charge it at its full 8 amps. Alright, and we'll take it up to 4.35 volts per channel. So, let's click start. Comes up nice and blue. And once it's fully charged, that background will change green. Alright, so... LIHV 4S, it's charging, it's on 54%, 16.8 volts, and we're running at a total of 7.9 amps, 8 amps. All right. Simple, easy to connect up. Connect up your um, balanced charging cable, um, your battery cable, turn it on, select your channel, and usually... Um, what happens is, if you're running, um, say, a Gannett 2 Plus, and all you're using is the 8,000 milliamp hour battery, if we were to stop this, right, disconnect the power, so now it's off. Once we connect it up again, and it turns on, you'll notice we're still in LIHV 4S, we're still in charge mode. So it remembers the last mode that you had that you last charged at. So if we were to bring up the menu, it's LIHV 4S, we're in charge mode, 8 amps charging, um, that's the volts per channel. And we can start and go. Alright. So each channel has. Well if you're charging with one channel. You can charge it at 10 amps. Well not recommended for this battery. But you can, dis you can charge up to 10 amps. It's got a total of 10 amps to charge. So if you're going to use both to charge two batteries at the same time you're going to split that 10 amps to 5 amps on either side so you're roughly going to run at the same uh, amperage charging as what you would do with one battery on your standard charger for your drone alright so We're at 16.31 volts. So what I'm going to do now is while I'm plugged in, I'm going to discharge the battery and show you how to set that up using this powerful unit. So let's click on that scroll key. We go stop. The fan's running on the charger at the moment. So now we push on the scroll key. We keep that the same, that the same. The moment we change to the external discharge, push on the scroll key. We're going to now discharge the battery at 15 amps. Now remember, when you're charging, we were charging at 8 amps. Because we're only using one channel. If you're running two channels again, you're running... 5 amps, a maximum of 5 amps per channel. So now we're going to discharge this battery using this unit 
at 15, around 15 amps. So it goes to about 11 to 15 amps. All right. So it's like flying your drone without flying your drone. We're going to set the voltage per channel at 3.78 volts on the 8,000 milliamp hour battery. 3.78 volts. Scroll down, start, box on. And we discharge it. So watch that amps go up. We'll probably get to about 11. So, amps, volts of the battery, the volts range per channel. And once the battery is right at the 3.78, bang, complete, done. So that's taken 34 seconds from just under 16 volts. Stop, push the scroll key, and disconnect your battery. Simple. So now let's have a look at the 6400 milliamp hour max battery. So the max runs a XT90 plug. So you're going to need this adapter. Let me plug that in there. Like so let's turn their power off. battery something to note here so the last run that we did on the last battery was the external discharge on the 8000 it's detected that the battery that is in there is a lipo lihv 6s which is not entirely correct so we need to set it up so again if you're using just the max and all you're using is the 6400 or the 6600 gannet battery same process push on the scroll key Take that to LiPo. You see that? Yep. It's a 6S, which is correct. External discharge, no, because we're going to charge it. We're going to charge it at its full 6 amps. And stop. There we go. So we're charging a LiPo, 6L is charging, it's at 56, 57, 58. It does climb quite a bit in the beginning. And again, we're charging at the full 6 amps. It's the temperature of the battery, your minutes, your volts per cell, and the power. All right. Very, very simple. So now, let's discharge it using this unit. So push on the scroll key, push stop. Stopped, amps are gone. Push on the scroll key. We're going to char discharge with the external discharge at the full 15 amps which you can safely run on both these batteries and the gannet batteries. We're gonna take it down to 3.78 volts per cell, like the smaller one, and we click start. And there we go. That's the volts, external discharge. And we're gonna take it up to about 11 amps. Will creep up.
So, simple as that. Connect your battery up. Nice and simple menu. Everything's on the scroll key, your battery, your type of battery. So we do the LiPo, LIHV. We've got guys with Contiki batteries. That's lead acid, acid battery. So that's the PB battery. We do a whole range of batteries with this one. Charging, discharging if it's capable. Um, put that there. So we do everything from one cell all the way to six cell, which is what we usually run. And your modes. Storage mode, discharge, charge, but we set up the external discharge using this unit and that gives, that gives you the full 15, vol, uh, 15 amp discharge rate. Um, and that's the UPD200 and it's one of my favorite chargers on the market at the moment. Having the capabilities to charge two batteries and to discharge batteries as quickly as what you can, man, you can't go wrong. So that's pretty much the setup of the UP7 charger. Uh, we will do another video of the UPD, um, UP200 charger and that has the one amp discharge function um, instead of the 15 amp. And these units don't work on the standard charger, only on the UP7. All right. Thank you for listening, man. Have a good one. Tight lines.